All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle once again. The lock we're going to take a look at this time is a master lock. And the weird thing about this one is, is I think it's my first master lock disc detainer lock. That's right. So, yeah, this is obviously a very large uh, U-lock. It is their master lock 8195DLW U-lock. That's a lot to take in, right? Right there. Uh, so, yeah, it is a big boy, obviously. Very large U-lock. Comes with all the uh, mounting brackets for your bicycle and all that kind of garb right here. Um, here are the keys. I already pulled it out from the inside. Uh, right here. Like I said, it is a disc detainer lock. Um, a little tricky. Now, this, you know, I always put the uh, discount and whatnot at the end of the video. As much information as I can gather at the end of the video. Um, what I usually do is I just look down the keyhole. Well, I look at the key for one and try to determine how many discs there are. And I think I counted seven discs, and then it's got a spinner on the front that spins. But it's very hard, as you can see, how deep that sucker is, you know, behind all that plastic. So I could be wrong. I do apologize ahead of time if I'm wrong. I think it's seven and a spinner. But like I said, I could be, I could be off there. It's hella hard to count that deep in that hole with a little flashlight. But uh, yeah, this detainer lock. And the weird thing, another weird thing is, leave it to master lock, uh, it springs open. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, as you turn the key, right about there, it springs. Let me get it off of here, probably show you easier. Let's just take it off, and I'll show you about the lock. Locking poles you probably can't see in there because they are black, but... They're on both sides, so it does lock on both sides. But yeah, when you go to when you get it to the open position, I'll see if I can show you here. Get it right about there. And then it clicks open. It's spring loaded to open. Not shut, but open. See? It's just kind of odd. So when you're picking it, I have picked this already, by the way. Uh, once or twice. So when you're picking it, when you finally get it picked, it springs open. So it's a little tough to get it locked back up because, you know, you're talking about a tool like this all the way in the back of the lock. So you got to overcome that spring tension to lock it back up. So it's kind of, it's almost backwards. I don't know. It's just odd to me. But anyways, that's how it works. Pretty funky, right? So we'll go ahead and I'll put it back on here. We'll put it back together here. Lock it back up. And what I'm going to do is I'll just put it in the vise right here. Just to hold it still. Like so. And just to get a good view, I'll probably just swing the camera around like we normally do. Let me put it like right there. So yeah, just to get a good view, let me swing you guys around. On my magic arm here. Let's see, I think we'll probably be good about right there maybe. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's probably all right right there, right? Try to center a little better. All right, let's try it. Ooh, hit the camera. Sorry. All right, let's try that. Let's rotate all the discs clockwise as far as they will go. And we're going to put the silver bullet all the way in the back of the lock. Like so. And get to picking. Uh, it is a little tricky. I got to give it that. Uh, because it's kind of hard to feel the gates. And I, I just think it's because of the uh, quality of the uh, the parts. That's all it is. Like that one feels kind of like a gate right there. But yeah, it's hard to feel the gates on some of these. But like I said, since it's spring loaded, when you do get it, that one was tight. Okay, that's good. When you finally do get it, okay, all the way out front, uh, it just springs open for you. <laughs> so, a little weird. Okay, yeah, that felt good. There it is. Just like that. 
So no match for the silver bullet whatsoever. But yeah, so now it's sprung open, so I've got to use pretty decent tension like that to spring it back to the lock position. But you can see, I mean, it's clearly open, obviously. But So I'm going to spring it back, get my tension or get my uh, silver bullet out of there. Just wiggle it out like I normally do, nice and easy. And bada boom, bada bang. Let me bring the camera back around. That ought to do right there, and we'll get it back out of here. So yeah, that is it. That is the, there's all the mounting brackets and stuff. You'll have your screws up in here to mount this to your bicycle, and then it'll hold on to the lock for you. I'm sure it probably holds on to this part right here. Probably mounts like this on your bicycle. But yeah, there it is. I think that's my first master lock, disc detainer lock. I'll have to check my uh, check my videos, but I believe it is. So yeah, Master Lock 8195DLW, whipped by the original Silver Bullet, once again. Alright, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, you know, it's a new year. We're coming into the new year, so um, I can really, really use your support. Alright, thank you all so much.